Good morning, everybody. A beautiful Friday for those of us who still love summer in mid-August. And one of the most exciting things that's happened this summer is the opening of Everyday Pizza. And I don't know whether you know about it because it's very new. You can see a background. And Sam Mayer and Art Berdiev, I never can pronounce your last name. You say it. Anyway, uh, you know them from Somebody People. And now, wow and fun. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hello. Hello. Good. I, did I mess up your last name as always? No. no. Oh, good. Hey, right. Love it when I get close. Okay. Behind me is a fabulous behind me, behind you, a fabulous mural that's part of the new everyday pizza. But I guess, Sam and Art, you have to sort of start with somebody people so we understand everyday pizza. Start with somebody people. Um, got somebody it. people is a little uh, restaurant on South Broadway. Uh, it's using Mediterranean influences in the in the food and what we try and do is create a seasonal menu uh, with uh, a strong concentration on local farms and local produce, uh, house made pasta and really creative cooking to try and get the best flavors out of vegetables. I was just going to say, I think you didn't mention one very important thing. It's vegan. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't tell yeah. people that we have a vegan restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, it is all vegan. Uh, but we like to kind of try and be the best restaurant uh, first and foremost, rather than just say we're the best vegan restaurant. Okay, I 150%. You're right. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, so people should have an idea mm. that those, everybody I've ever attended with has said, I don't like vegan until they walk out. Mm. And I actually was at a doctor's office the other day who said to me, you have to try somebody people. I said, I think I'm the one that told you about it. <laughs> <laughs> but none of us are vegan, but who cares? Okay, everyday pizza. Yeah. So everyday pizza is um, like a more vibrant, uh, fast paced kind of inner city venue that we have um, that focuses again on seasonal produce and, and uh, has the, you know, the, the, the classic uh, cooking makeup of what we uh, established at Somebody People, but it's also um, we've we've brought in pizza as a as a another element of the menu, and um, again we're just using seasonal vegetables on, on pizzas. Well, I know you are the owner, front of the house, everything else. Art, yes. you are the chef, and we have. Well, I guess when you first told me about everyday pizza, I looked up and I said, "Oh, really?" How am I going to have my white pie? And I'll be damned. There it is. So tell us how you created the pizza. The rest of the food is fabulous, but start with pizza. How did you get this together? Well, with pizza, we the first and the basic pizza is the tomato sauce. So we all love tomatoes. And uh, they're Italian pizzas that don't really require cheese or any sauce. So just, uh, it just, again, it came together easily. Like we, people use the canned peeled plum tomatoes or some Marzano tomatoes on the pizza. And I use it too on one of them. But what I really thought was like, I can get local San Marzano's and I can blanch and peel them and marinate the way I want it. So that started with one pizza. Another one did the classic that we use the almonds instead of the 
instead of mozzarella. So we make this creamy base. We call it ricotta sometimes. Sometimes we call it Ricky or Richard. <laughs> and started with two pizzas. And we, for now, we can do more than six because still still trying. But now we currently have six. So we have two tomatoes, one with the chilies and fresh tomatoes, and another one with a canned summer zone tomatoes and four others are just with available local vegetables. We have green bean pizza, corn, which I love, that has a corn puree with the saffron, shallots, and garlic. Uh, mushroom pizza, of course. That's that, me. That's, that's <laughs> you. <laughs> that's you and me. Uh, the, the sauce is the mushrooms that I, that I fry and roast and then make a sauce out of it. And it's just mushrooms on mushrooms with the garlic it's, and parsley. It has the, obviously not the runny cheese, but it still has that flavor. Um, what I call white pie. Okay. And it, I, I still gonna, we're gonna try the, keep trying, keep doing new things. And the way things come up, they have been coming up at somebody people the same going to be here when one day we're just like let's try this and it ends up being on the menu for a long time well i must say aside from pizzas we should tell people you do have the pastas that are fabulous and i think you call them small bites mm. which are outrageous as is in somebody people where you take a vegetable, I mean, you name a vegetable, and we go, Bleh. and you know what? They are incredible. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we were trying to do here with the like busy downtown neighborhood. We wanted to be approachable at any time of the day. That's why here we're going to stay open later than somebody people. So People just walking by and want to grab a pizza or something to go. We got the takeout window and soon enough and soon we'll be open for lunch. Oh, okay. I was you can get the takeout and much faster service. So you'll be open for lunch and dinner and a takeout window. Is that open now? Uh, it will be as... Uh, Probably closer. We're, we'll open up for lunch on the 6th of September. So we'll probably open up the takeout window at the same time. Oh, okay. And before we end this part, you have the appetizers of your small bites, like that lion's mane mushroom dish, cabbage, zucchini. I mean, but none of it tastes like you, it sounds. Thank you. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to describe when you can just take a vegetable and make it say, I could almost be a vegan. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a magician when it comes to like combining flavors and just throwing things together and really retaining that freshness. It just really bursts out of the dish. It's, it's pretty amazing. It, I mean, I think you guys are just brilliant. Where is Everyday Pizza? um 2162 larimer street so it's a couple of blocks from Coursefield. um it's obviously on the busy side of larimer street which is fun uh so yeah well I, you're right on the corner yeah 20 second larimer so people will know that so right now you're just open for dinner every night every night yeah every day okay that every day pizza yeah yeah Somebody, people is closed on Monday. Sure. Yeah, just so you know. And then shortly you'll do lunch too. Wow. I can only imagine what's going to come up. And along with great food, you have super drinks and wines and everything too. Yeah. So. Yeah. So um, uh, El Emily Horn, who's our beverage director, she does a fantastic job with our craft cocktail list um creating some really fun kind of old school riffs on cocktails this is for everyday pizza 
uh, and it's like super fast paced. We have a great espresso martini. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really special. And then the, the wine list is just like good rustic Italian wines uh, that are served by the bottle and by the glass. And uh, we do have a high-end list, which is going to come in probably in September as well, which will have a, a couple of Barolos and uh, Tuscan wines, just for all those who like to splurge a little bit more on wine and eat pizza at the same time. I could eat pizza anytime. Your crust, <laughs> your crust is fabulous. It, I mean, I can't say anything other than whatever you do is very unique and interesting and terrific. Awesome thing. Thank you. I don't, and I also want to say that both Somebody People and Everyday Pizza, and if you go into it, well, we could have Sam tell us. Tell us the songs that brought you the names. Uh, okay, so Somebody People is um, uh, David Bowie's song, Five Years, so the lyrics came from that. Uh, I won't bore you with the, the long story of how we got to that point. Uh, and then Everyday Pizza is Everyday People by Sly and the Family Stone. So it's, uh, if anyone's been to our venues, you know, we like to play music. Uh, we have DJs on Friday, Saturday nights. Uh, so we like, to, we like to have a lot of fun. I think that service should be uh, um, not only delivering great food and wine, but also should be entertaining in a uh, colorful space. And that kind of, that vein runs along the lines well, of both our sure. venues, so. Um, well, if, first of all, everybody dances around. Yeah. But still, they're great and very accommodating and knowledgeable. It, it's just a fun place to go. Yeah, with and that's- food. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to aim for. We're trying to aim for really fun venues where people can kind of shake off their day, step into the venue, have a bit of fun, joke with the servers, uh, and eat spectacular food. Well, that's pretty good recommendation, and I'll have to go with that one. Yeah. And I personally do have to thank both of you because as relatively new, totally different, the one charity that Art was at with us, actually somebody, people, was the most popular booth there. I mean, with all these people. And now uh, you and Art are doing our Morgan Adams for Cancer charity for children's cancer at Concourse out in Centennial on the 27th. And then Art is one of I guess I should say my five top chefs, each doing a full course at Chatfield uh, Botanic Gardens. And you're cooking for 180 people that night. Each chef is doing it. And you all have just been wonderful. And it's really fun that I get to see how the public is as excited as I am about what you're doing. Thank you so much for giving. Well, uh, just great. What don't we know about either or place that we haven't discussed? What don't we know? Oh, tell about Sunday night dinner at so many people because people don't all know about that. Uh, well, Sunday's, Sunday's supper, uh, I think Sam and Trish came up with the idea and all the, the kitchen, the cooks, and all of us just kind of dived into that, uh, trying to use whatever is left from the week. And now we're busy, we actually like plan this, but still trying to use, basically like cleaning up the house and fridges <laughs> for Sunday. Well, <laughs> like if I clean out my refrigerator, it This is the last day of the week. We need to, we have to use this, we have to use this ingredient, that sauce, and and just like whatever we have from the regular menu, marry something that we brought in just for Sunday. And just a good way to utilize hands and, and produce and brains 
because <laughs> sometimes people who were there was like really wanted to do something, really love something. And I was like, all right, it might be too much for the regular menu, but Sunday supper, let's do it. Let's try. Yeah. So everyone, everyone gets to participate. It's just like a group of friends coming together on Sunday and just cook. It's a really fun service. Like even with opening this place and be and being busy here, I think I haven't missed any Sunday suppers except for one or two right before we opened but it's i don't know it's my favorite day to be on both ends of the sunday supper yeah it's a fun it's a really fun day it's not it's not easy on the kitchen either they have to come up with new menus every week um but uh it, what it what it kind of it does it gets us to think about how much food waste that we've got and how to utilize what we have left over and uh that's like a really important uh um it's a really important uh, uh, what am I trying to say theme for our restaurants uh, we, we've got a little committee that meets every month and they try and solve certain uh, zero waste issues so try to you know reduce our plastic use um, use re, uh, reusable containers uh, food waste and that kind of thing so our restaurants are kind of always kind of growing towards uh, better better practices uh, within the restaurant to um, to do a little bit more for the earth and to, just to get a bit hippie uh, and also to try and uh, get better, you know, just be better restaurant, restaurateurs really. To, well, um, I guess I've been initiated to being a hippie yeah. <laughs> because I've certainly joined the club and let I just wanted to mention to people who do not know when you get there, you don't even have to miss out on dessert. They have ice cream, tiramisu, and just anything. I mean, you don't miss a thing. And the bread at uh, somebody people is, oh my God, if I could just have somebody deliver that every day, it would be wonderful. <laughs> but you guys are brilliant, fabulous. And I just can't begin to tell you. But before I forget, I hope everybody will like and subscribe to The Gap on YouTube to see this. I'm on Facebook and Gabby Gourmet and Pat Miller for you to get it there and also on Instagram. But before we leave, give us hours of both places and how to get there. And of course, you know I'm on my way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously Everyday Pizza is on the corner of 22nd Larimer, 2162. Uh, the hours are every day. We'll soon be 12 to 10 every day and 12 to 12 on the weekends, Friday, Saturday nights. Uh, Somebody People is 1165 South Broadway. Uh, the hours are Tuesday through to Sunday uh, from 5 to 9 during the week and five, uh, four to 10 on Friday and Saturday. I would also say, make a reservation. Yeah. I mean, if you go to somebody people without a reservation, you're sunk. <laughs> but I mean, and I'm sure somebody, everyday pizza is gonna be the same. Do you take reservations there? We do. So both venues, we take reservations. Um, Everyday Pizza's got a little bit more walk-in room at the bar, but um, somebody, people definitely make a reservation. We pretty much fill up most nights. So. Yeah, I would say so. Well, you know I'm a fan. I guess I could be top of the fan club. And you guys are terrific. Sam and Art, you do a wonderful, wonderful job. You've created something totally unique and something totally fabulous. Just Keep it going and let us come off. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. And Trish, too. <laughs> Trish, I'm thinking girls rock, so it's okay. <laughs> anyway, that's his wife to everybody else who does just as much. Have a great week. I'll either see you singing a song, Somebody People, Everyday Pizza, and just the most fun thing that's happened. And it's not anything like any other place you've been in town.
Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. And we'll thank you all. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah.